Hey guys, welcome back to another review. Um, today we are going to review Lady Agaric. So, I thought since I'm not posting very many PvZ episodes, I'd give you a little more insight, I guess, on some of the characters in the PvZ series. Um, the Plants vs. Zombies series, we will have an announcement on it at the end of this video. And um, we also have some other good news at the end of this video too, so continue watching and you might be filled with some good news. But that's besides the point. Let's get back to the review of the plush. So um, here's a front and back of her and she is a crocheted plush and I'm going to tell you right now, any crochet plushes I have are not made by me because I, I have zero crocheting skills. So I have no idea how to crochet. But um, so yes, this plush is a custom. I got her off of Etsy and uh, there will be more about that at the end of the video. So again, continue watching. But um, about the plush, she has nine uh, white spots on her mushroom cap. And her mushroom cap, the funny thing about it is it doesn't have a lot of stuffing in it. So you can kind of shape it the way you want. Like, it can be like this, or it can be like that, or something. But you can basically shape her cap the way you want. And in my series, Lady Agaric is Crazy Dave's assistant. So, um, in no means is she like an official character or anything. Uh, she's my own original character, but not my own original plush, because she's a custom from Etsy, but I did make her character, so her character is, um, what I made up, it's not official, and the plush isn't official either, it's just a plush of this mushroom lady, and I named her Lady Gark, so, um, Again, you can see the crocheting details around and her dress is actually made by me um, she when you order Lady Agark if you order Lady Agark um, she comes without a dress um, she does come with the ribbon though she does come with the ribbon but she doesn't come with the dress so I actually made the dress and I made all the spots and stuff on the back of the dress as well um, all these spots and the arm sleeves and the cape part, I did make the dress. Now, one thing you might notice about Lady Gark is she isn't wearing any pants. Um, I did forget to, like, make pants before I put her in the series, but when you, most of the times when you see her, she's like this. Or here, let me position the camera a little bit more. You see her like this, so you don't really know that she doesn't have any pants on, because the white from her dress kind of blends into her body. Um, but if for some people it, it like makes them mad that I don't have pants on Lady Gark, um, I might put pants on Lady Gark eventually. It's not something I'm going to do, you know soon, anytime soon, because it's not that important, because there's not many scenes when, you know, I need that, but, um, for the time being, she doesn't have any pants on, and she also has her legs, and it's all crocheted on, and her arms are also crocheted as well, and her eyes are actually like little safety, um, pins or something, safety pins, and she also has a little bit of thread for her mouth. And if you pull on that, you can either adjust the smile, but don't pull on it too much because um, it will probably like rip off if you pull it too hard or something like that. But that isn't the only part of Lady Agaric either. She also has her staff. Now, this staff did, does not come with the plush either. Um, if you order Lady Agaric, you just get Lady Agaric. I made the staff and her dress. So, if you want, eventually want tutorials on how to do her dress and the um, staff, I can show you. But for now, this is her staff. Um, it is kind of like her uh, mushroom cap, where it's red with the white dots. There's five of them on there. And as well as, it looks black on the camera, but it's actually dark brown. Don't know if you can see that very well, but yeah. And you can also bend the staff a little bit too. It doesn't have a lot of bend to it, because it's not supposed to be bent. But you can if you want. So yeah, that's her staff.
And now it's time for some of the good news. So, the first piece of good news is that it's starting to get a little bit better weather outside. So that means we are probably going to be able to start filming plans for the zombies episodes again. Now, I don't have a time date. By no means the weather could, you know, start snowing again or in if it warms up a little, it could start raining and I can't film outside in the night when it's all soggy and wet wet on the ground. So, um I'm just telling you guys that there is a possibility that the Plants vs. Zombies episode episodes could be starting again, but by no means is it guaranteed because there's a lot of things that could change that. And now for the second part of good news. So Lady Gar here is um, obviously a custom plush. Again, I'm going to tell you again because I don't want you to be disappointed if you order a Lady Gar plush. She does not come with the dress, because I made that custom made, and she doesn't come with the staff, because I made that custom made. But, um, if you would like to order a Lady Gark plush, I'm going to put the link in the description below, so you can go check out the Etsy store. Now, it's the store, and it's not the actual listing for the plush. So if you want to actually find the plush, you're going to have to... Um, see what the shop has for sale and scroll down and see if you can find a listing for Lady Agark And you'll obviously see her, you know, without the dress and stuff and the staff But don't be disappointed because in the future if you want if you guys want me to do a tutorial on the dress and the staff I can definitely do so. So thank you guys for watching um, If you have any other questions or comments about Lady Agark, I know a lot of people have been wanting to know where I got Lady Agark, and some people want to get it for themselves. So again, I have a link in the description below, and you can go check that out. Um, otherwise, I think that's all for me. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments about Lady Agark, please obviously post them in the comments below. And if you're not, why not shoot for the stars and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching another plush review, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.